Hi, my name is Julia Collis. I go to ACS, the American Community School of Beirut, and uh, I'm an 11th grader there and I live in Lebanon. So uh, my question is, did you know Feidu's created over 1,000 songs called The Presenter's Promise? So I'm not an expert, but I promise that I tried to learn as much as I could to satisfy my curiosity about this topic. Uh, someone here might know more than me about this topic. Please correct me, ask questions and contribute, but do it nicely. I am not trying to persuade you of my agenda or convince you to take action. Um, my only hope is that my presentation might cultivate your own curiosities. Okay, so first let me uh, dive into what this presentation mostly focuses on. So it's about the background of Feidouz and who she is, uh, how many songs did she make, uh, and why, why was she famous, what inspired her uh, most of her songs. So first of all, why am I interested in this topic and what led me to want to do this presentation? So when I was younger, my mother's side of the family was uh, like music. And uh, by the time I grew up, I realized that I don't know anything about her, even though she was a very big part of my childhood. My family even one time took me to a restaurant that mostly played uh, her music. And um, I realized that I wanted to discover more about her and more about the meaning behind her music. So just to give you a little bit of background on her, her parents were Liza Al Bustani and Wadi Haddad from Beirut. Uh, they actually grew up in an Arab Christian neighborhood. And her husband and children are Asi Rahbani, uh, Ziad Hadirima, and Layal Rahbani. Um, so Asi Rahbani is her husband and uh, uh, the rest are her children. And uh, here you can see pictures. Uh, this is a painting of Beirut. And uh, to the right, you can have a picture of her husband. And on the bottom, it's actually a picture of her mother. And um, so to speak more about where she grew up. So she grew up in Beirut. And um, she actually grew up as the eldest of four children. And uh, it, she shared her house with numerous other families, all living under one roof. And um, here is the Beirut Music Conservatory. So this actually is a very key uh, factor in her background. So this is a modern picture of the interior of the Beirut Conservatory. Beirut joined the conservatory at a young age when her talent was being discovered. And uh, during her time with the Beirut Music Conservatory and the Lebanese State Radio Choir, composer Halim Al-Rumi nicknamed her Beirut, uh, meaning turquoise in Arabic. Her actual name is Nahad Haddad. And uh, this is a very key uh, factor into her foothold fame. So the Abalbak International Festival. So first of all, Abalbak is a region in Lebanon. And uh, it's very famous, especially for its vibrant fe uh, festival and for its uh, Roman ruins. And um, uh, basically, Feidouz performed here in 1957. And uh, this was her foothold to fame. And this festival is still ongoing in Lebanon. It was from 1957 to 2020. Um, but because of COVID, uh, the procedure was to stop it. And uh, she sang uh, Blame with the Rahbani brothers and was praised for how the traditional Arabic music merged with the classical Western, Russian, and Latin elements uh, with Eastern rhythms and a modern orchestra. So uh, here her song, Sanirja Yoman, or We Shall Return One, this was actually uh, inspired by, um, like it spoke of the ex exiled pal Palestinians after the creation of Israel in 1940. This is actually the album cover. It just says her name, but um, yeah, it's one of her most famous songs. And here are some links to her songs, and uh, the picture is actually a link. the The picture is actually the album cover of the link in the middle. So, uh, if you want to listen to her songs and want to see what actually they're inspired by, uh, this is a perfect way. And here are some album album covers. So these albums are quite important in her career, as she released over eighty of them, uh, and she even released some musicals. So these ones in specific were quite popular. And with that, uh, Francois Mertrand, um awarded her the Order of Arts and Letters in 1988. And Jack Chirac uh, first awarded her the Legion of Honor 10 years later in 1998. Um, and especially these albums are important because they uh, speak of what inspired her most, which I'm going to get to in the next slide. 
what was Firuz important? So Firuz was a community amongst the Lebanon and Lebanese. So with a country divided by so many religious sects and uh, so many religions in general, um, I'm 15 year old, 15 years of the war, Firuz was seen as a symbol of unity amongst Lebanese civilians. Uh, no matter what religion or sect you belong to, uh, Feidu's music, Feidu's music was something everyone could limit, could listen to, and it wasn't limited to who you belong to. And they often called her the precious So uh, no country can cease to exist. The stones don't walk. This is a very famous quote said by her. Uh, and uh, this alludes to the crises in Lebanon, Syria, and Palestine, which most of her songs are inspired by. Uh, even though a country has its conflicts, there is always a solution. Um, I feel like she was trying to communicate that the Arab world is strong and will persevere. And here, uh, to talk more about her like unity and to expand more on that topic, uh, her music wasn't limited by borders. Uh, she spoke by, of all the uh, crises in the Arab world, and it wasn't just limited to unity in Lebanon, it was unity of the Arab world. And uh, just a fun fact is that many of her songs have long been um, lost or unreleased, and uh, many songs that addressed Arab international issues have been unpublished, and this is an article on that and it focuses specifically on a song that was unreleased uh, that she wrote in 1968 about the six they were in Egypt. So something that uh, you can take away from this presentation in my opinion is that individu individuals can influence the world in many ways. So it's not limited to one path. Uh, you can influence the world through politics and Feidouz was able to influence the world in a very unique way uh, by using her music and uh, by bringing people together through her music. So here are some references and further reading. All of these sources were used in my presentation, but if you want to know uh, more about her background and more about her songs and her inspirations, this is the perfect way to uh, dive deeper. Thank you.